Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. This is module two of grade one. Get your name on here first. And what we've been doing, we've been practicing changing uh, eight pluses or plus eights to ten pluses or plus tens uh, because it's easy to add to ten. And it's easy to make ten with eight because we just, we know we need two. So whatever we add to eight, we think, mentally we think, okay, that's a, Whatever it is we're adding to 8, we're thinking, all right, what's 2 less than that? Or you can think of what's 1 less and what's 1 less again. And then mentally, the, you know, that's the number you're going to add to 10. And we're going to show this now. We've been doing it with pictures uh, in our last homework assignment, our last lesson. And now we're going to do it with number bonds and uh, <clears throat> and writing the just writing the 10 plus facts. And I'll show you a little trick to help if you're still counting to figure out how to decompose the second add end, the number that you're adding to eight. I'll show you a little trick that you can use. And I'm not going to use it on every one, but I'll just show you a couple of times. So that if you want to, you can keep using it because it helps you figure out what, what you have. So here we have eight plus three. And so we're going to need a two. And one is left. So that's 10 plus. There's our 10 right there. And one. 10 plus 1 it's 11 so 8 plus 3 is 11 now here's the 6 plus 8 we're gonna break up not the 8 oops not the 8 we're gonna keep the 8 together and we're gonna split up the 6 we're gonna get so because we're looking to make 8 plus 2 now if you're not sure the six you could think one two three four five six is a trick i mentioned you have six dots and now if you still have to count to figure out what's going to be left you can just look at this and say okay there's two that i'm going to use for my to make my ten and the rest is four and that's how you can figure out the other part of of what's left in your six or your other add end so <clears throat> we're going to have that's the number we're adding to ten right because this is this is going to be put this two is going to be part of the ten so that's 4 plus 10, 14. 14, we're using that teen trick when you add to 10. It makes a teen number. 8 plus 8. doesn't matter which 8 we split up here. It's going to be 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're using those 2 for the 10 and there's 6 left. You can just count them there. So this 6 is what we're adding to the 10. 10 plus 6 is 16, so 8 plus 8 is 16. And then 8 and 5. 5 is 2, and there's going to be, right, that's 4, 3, counting backwards, right? 3 and 2 make 5. You might just know that. So that's 10, and this is the number we're going to add to the 10, because the 2 is going to go, that's going to make the 10 with the 8. So 10, 3. That's 10, 3 is 13. So 5 plus 8 is 13. Now you, I might kind of skipped over this a little bit. I know these, number 3 and number 4, are backwards number sentences. Uh, just keep in mind, it, this is you should be looking at the operation symbol, the plus and the equals. It's not always plus and then equals. Sometimes it's equals and then plus, and you just have to pay attention to where the sum goes and where the parts are. In this case, the parts are on the right side, just like there with the 5 plus 8, so that the whole has to be on the other side of the equal sign. Complete the addition sentences and the number bonds. So here we have the number bonds already made for us, uh, and we have two sets of number bonds, and you'll see how, you'll see how this works. So 7 plus 8. We already know the total for this one because it's right there in the number bond, 15. And the parts are 7 and 8. And then for for this for the same one, this is 10 and 5. No, 10, 5 is 15. So our whole is 15. And we have parts of 10 and 5. And this is just showing us the number bonds that there's two different ways to break up 15. You can have it with a 10 and a 5 or a 7 and an 8, but the, if those are the parts, but the whole... 15 both times. So now we have 16. Well, 7 plus 8 is 15. Then 8 plus 8 is probably 16. 
And we haven't, because now we had to figure out what was missing. Now you could count it up to figure it out. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and that's 5 and 3 more. That's 8. You could do it that way too. So we know that 16 is going to be the whole. 8 is one of the parts. And 8 is the rest of it. 10, 6, 16. Now because our parts here are 10 and 6, they're 10 and 6 in our number bond. And our whole is 16. And again here, this is one of the trickiest ones on the page because you have a missing add end to figure out. You have to figure out what the missing part is, and it's a backwards number sentence. So there's a lot going on in that problem. But that's just concentrating on what the parts are and what the whole is. And you have to figure out what's missing. So here we have another one where we have another backwards number sentence where we're looking for the whole first. And here's a 9, so we would use our trick of taking one out from the eight to make 10. Seven will be left from that eight, so our total is going to be 17 here. So our whole in the number bond is 17 with parts of nine and eight. 10 plus seven, so we're going to have parts of 10 and seven. And that's a teen number, right? 17. And you could have solved this one first to figure out what the total is, because you can kind of see how this is going. The total is both. We're just doing changing them to 10 pluses. Draw a line to the matching number sentence. You may use a number bond or five group drawing to help you. So we have three problems here, 8, 9, and 10, that we have to solve. Then we have to figure out which number sentence matches up. So here's 8. We have 11 equals 8 plus 3. Well, what would this look like if it was a 10 plus? Uh, and what we want to do is not break up the 8, we want to break up the 3. 8 needs a 2 to make 10, and there's going to be 1 left over. So the 10 plus sentence for this would be 10 plus 1 equals 11. Do we have that one here? We do. So this, these two match up. Lisa had five red rocks. And what's it say in the directions? Let me make sure we did everything. You may use a number bond or five group drawing to help you. So there, we used a number bond in that one. Now we have a word problem. Lisa had five red rocks and eight white rocks. How many rocks did she have? You could do this with a picture. So I'm going to just draw a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to draw the white rocks. That's eight. And five red rocks. One, two, three, four, five. So it's not going to be the eight plus six equals 14 because this is eight plus five. So let's just see. This is, you can see right here, this is 10 and three more. So it's 10 plus three plus 13. Well, this one right here has 10 plus 3, and it equals 13. So although it's a backwards version, it's the same number sentence, so that number sentence goes to this one. And you're going to know that since there's just, just this one left, we have parts of 10 and 4 equaling 14. So this last one here also equals 14, and it's the last one left. We started off with a 10 plus 4 equals 14. And we could just use this 8 plus 6. This might be easier to work with. Start with the 8 plus 6 equals 14. And we'll do our make 10 trick. 2 and then 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we take away 2 though. There's going to be 4 left. So that's a 4. And there we have 10, 4. matches up there and now we're done